Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking for Insects with Bart. Well actually my joke isn't so far from the truth because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bait to lure insects. Now um, actually mainly I'm going to want to attract moths. Moths, sorry, I, I, I just, th 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 that's difficult for me to pronounce. But um, several uh, kind of um, uh, nocturnal moths are very drawn to the smell of sugar and fermenting fruit and alcohol. Just like uh, the fermenting fruits below a tree in nature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix them up. And I'm going to smear the mixture on a tree, which will hopefully attract a few species of insects. I have bananas for the sugar and, and the fruit sugars that will lure the insects. Well, wine. Hop, there we go. And apple syrup. I don't know if that's the proper name for it. It's not actually syrup. It's much, much thicker than that. Let me show you. It's this kind of stuff full of sugar. Oh, it is difficult to do with one hand while trying to film, but all right. Let me show you. There, this stuff. Whoop. Now I'm going to mash it into a paste, so hang on. Well, here we go. Here we have the mixture. It smells very strange. It smells sweet and very alcoholic, which is uh, exactly what we want. The reason insects are often drawn to the smell of alcohol is because, well, as you imagine, um, in nature, uh, the, the, the same fruits that these moths uh, feed on are uh, often fermenting due to the rotting processes. Um, basically, it's um, yeast, I believe, turning uh, sugar into alcohol. and. It's basically an identifier for these moths, you know, the, the mixture, the, the presence of both sugars and alcohol is what to the moths um, smells exactly like rotting fruit. So there are several species in my area that could be attracted to this, especially the old lady moth, if you know it, Mormo Maura, it's quite an impressive noctuate. Also, um, the, the underwing moths, if you know them, Catocala. We have the red underwing, Catocala nupta in the area. And also Scolioptericus libatrix. I don't know the English name for it, so you'll have to know the scientific name. So I'm going to let it ferment here for a while. And maybe I can show you what I caught last night. Here we have the bait on the tree, which has attracted a moth. Very pretty. So the, as you can see the bait is working. It's called Scolioptericus libatrix and I don't know the English name, I'm sorry, and I just chased it away. Goodbye. I hope it will return so I can get a better shot of it. But uh, the bait is working and it's also attracting a lot of mosquitoes, unfortunately. Hey everyone. I'm out here at night, so I'm going to film a few moths, if there are a few around. Let's show the first one. This is called the yellow underwing, in English I believe, feeding on flowers of Bodleia. Uh, I believe the scientific name is Noctua pronuba, the yellow underwing. It's quite large for a noctuid and very common in my area. They have nice and yellow underwings. So it isn't showing them right now unless it uh, goes and flies. So, oh. Several species out here at night. If we're lucky we'll see something cool. Let me see if I can tease it. I'll shoo it away. Oops, I didn't film it flying away. Oh well. There it is. You can see the yellow. Very nice. Oop. And away it goes. 
there it is into the darkness goodbye and here we have some species on bait yellow underwing and another yellow underwing showing a little bit of its yellow colors which is very nice oh, looks like it's preparing to fly soon because I, the light is bothering it and here this is not a moth nor a butterfly I don't know the English name for this one actually but it's an interesting find here we have a small Pyralidae well I don't know the English name but it's it's a leaf roller which feeds on nettles we call it a brandnetelblad roller in Dutch but that's all I can tell you it sucks I don't know uh, the English name for every species well that's a pretty little thing and these things are just everywhere not gonna bother with them anymore here is another one yep probably the most common species out here tonight so not going to bother with the yellow underwings anymore um, I hope to catch the old lady moth called Mormo Maura it's a very big nocturid and I also hope to lure the red underwing Catucala nupta interesting I don't know which species this is I'm not an expert on these tiny species micro lepidoptera so I don't know these micro species but apparently it likes bait so I'm just gonna film it maybe look up the species on the internet tomorrow nice to see but small I'm hoping for bigger stuff tonight look who's back for more again attracted to my sugar Scolioptyrix libatrix yes let's get a good shot you can see it's small proboscis sucking up the fluid Still a nice species to see in my area. Let's disturb it just because I can. Oop, there it goes. Yeah, it looks like someone else likes my bait as well. An overabundance of snails. I'm not a big fan of snails but I'm still happy to see this snails are an important food source for many animals mainly birds but also hedgehogs so I'm still glad to see snails though it's not what I was hoping for not a good spot for butterflies I mean moths And here we have something different uh, this is called the silver eye Autografa gamma it's a migratory moth that can feed while it flies so it doesn't need to settle down to feed from the flowers here we have another one oh it's scared by the light it seems let's see if I can get uh, another shot hmm up there oh. hi little buddy oh another underwing but that's not the one I want to film yes 
Here we go. It almost behaves like a little hummingbird. But it's not a hawk moth, nor a hummingbird moth. It's a noctuid silver eye autographa gamma. And it's probably one of the most common species in my country right now due to a massive migration that occurred a few weeks ago. Thousands upon thousands of these moths are reported. It's extremely common. It's still nice to see they are doing well. Still a lovely species if you ask me. Very hyperactive, always feeding. Always fueling those overactive flight muscles. Here we go. It's a good shot. Frantically feeding. Well, um, I'm afraid it's a little worn out. As you can see, it's missing the, the scales and hairs on its thorax. Um, but this is what I got last night. It came to my bait. It's the old lady moth, Mormo Maura. It's quite large and actually pretty, and I love to breed a few of them. So what I want to do is uh, at least catch a few females, if that's possible. Uh, this is a male, I believe. A male that came to my uh, sugar bait. It has, well, a little bit grey color. Grey, blackish, brownish. But it's still an impressive species, especially when you see it fly at night, you know. It's, it's larger than you'd expect from a European, uh, European noctuid. So I do hope to attract more of these tonight, so we will see.